Hello everyone, welcome back to Bits and Bobs Divination. My name is Caitlin and today we're going to be reading into the different blessings that you have coming in for the month of December. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so welcome back to another Monday reading here with me today. To each of you who join me for these readings every single Monday, you guys know who you are and I appreciate you so much, especially during this holiday season. It's always lovely to have that support, so thank you. And to those of you who are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as I do these readings every single Monday and I do readings on um, every Monday on your weekly sort of forecast or your week ahead as well as at the beginning of each month like this one here I do readings on your blessings and I also do some timeless readings as well that you can check out too on like your spiritual magical gifts and abilities as well as what you're most proud of and some others that I have in the works so if you're interested in any of that please consider subscribing I'd love to have you guys here and to those of you who are ready let's go ahead and look at these piles in more detail all right, so for pile number one, we have this golden bell here, and each of them have snowflakes in the center of them, but this is the gold jingle bell, um, and you also hear this little um, snowy camper, so this is really cozy and sweet. So that is pile number one. For pile number two, you have a green snowflake jingle bell sounds like this and a little guy sort of a little figurine here who is throwing a snowball at you to be quite frank but there is a little snowball guy so that is pile number two and for pile number three here I have a silver bell so it's silver and it sounds a bit like this and you also have this little snowman here ready to sweep the lawn from all of the um, snow that has come on in. So that is pile number three. So as always with each of these videos, let's go ahead and uh, take a deep breath together so you can make a better decision and really use and um, practice your intuition here to decide which pile is best for you. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath together. So as always, there's no right or wrong way to choose your piles. You can choose all three, two of them, one of them, whatever works for you. You can choose a pile and decide on a different one. There's no right or wrong way to do this. But to those of you who already know which pile is for you, the timestamps will be in the chapter marks as well as down in the description below where you can find the different decks and supplies that I use. There's also um, a link to my Instagram where you can communicate more specifically with me or the community um, on magic, on tarot, on charms, anything like that. So feel free to, you know, talk to me there. And you can also find my email as well as where you can donate to the channel. And only if you are able to, only if you would like to support this channel further as it's going to help me create better content for you, help me um, support me financially, and also help with uh, getting different decks that we can use and other supplies and tools. So if you're interested in that, that also will be down below as a link for my PayPal me. So with all of that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started with pile number one. Hello group one, if you've decided to choose this little snowy camper alongside the golden jingle bell, then this is the pile for you. I think I'm gonna set it on both sides, that way <laughs> the jingle bell doesn't get hit too often, but let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations. Um, we're also going to be using the spellcasting oracle, the chakra love deck, and the tarot deck we're going to be using today is the modern witch tarot. We're also going to be utilizing the letter tiles again today to get some more information there. Um, so we've got lots to pile in through, so let's go ahead and get started right on into all of this. So as I've mentioned, today we're going to be looking 
looking into the blessings that you have coming in for the month of December. Um, this is through the holiday season, all of the different blessings that will be coming in, in the forms of anything like life lessons, gifts, uh, wish fulfillment, anything that could possibly be coming in. So let's go ahead and start looking into your month of December, group one. So the blessings that are coming in to group one's December, what do we need to know? Group one, group one. Looking for any information on group one's month of December. So here you have the page of cups. Let's go ahead and start looking for your other cards here. So looking for December for group one. That one just flew right out. Here, oh, you also have the queen of cups. So two different cup cards there. The court. Let's find your final message here of the tarot cards for group one. Group one, any blessings, life lessons, wishes, gifts from the universe coming in for group one's wow, month. Okay, so you had three fly out, um, but because they fell this way, I'm only going to take this um, top card here as that's the one that actually fell right side up. Um, and I always read without reversal, so that was sort of a message to me to only take that one. Um, but here you have the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot. But let's go ahead and look um, at your spellcasting message here. So group one, group one, we're looking for the energy, insights, and guidance coming in in the form of blessings for the month of December for group one, group one. What do we need to know? Ooh, you also have here passion. Interesting that you'd have passion since that's such a fiery one um, alongside all of this sort of water energy with the cups. But we'll go ahead and look into your next message. So we're looking for group one, group one, any energy, insights, or guidance coming in for the month of December for group one. What blessings, what life lessons... What good energy could be coming in for group one in the forms in the form of blessings? So group one, group one for the month of December. All right, so you have two here, both the heart chakra. Um, you have compassion um, alongside connection. So with connection here, it says Father Divine and Mother Earth make love in your heart. So it's really connecting with the universe, connecting more on that level. Um, and with each of these cards, they have a crystal associated. So you can utilize this crystal during the month to help this um, continue to manifest. And this crystal here is uh, Green Ocean Jasper. Uh, for the, the other one, you have Jade, which I actually do have a piece of Jade right here. And it says compassion. Resolve your conflicts with compassion. And there you have some jade. So those are the two that you have there. And we will go ahead and grab your final message before we do the charms and the letter tiles later on with your watercolor affirmation for the month. So group one, group one, what do we need to know about group one's blessings for the month of December for group one? Group one looking for group one all right so you have two here you have let's try again and ground yourself in love so let's try again and ground yourself in love so okay there's a little bit to unpack here so let's go ahead and get started on your month so first off, I'm getting an overwhelming message that some of you might have just come out of a relationship, especially with this let's try again, either a friendship or a more romantic relationship, or even if you're trying to connect with a loved one possibly that you haven't connected with in a while, I just see you connecting back to someone, especially with this connection, being more compassionate. So this could be either connecting back with that ex or connecting back with that person whom you haven't seen in a while because you've resolved some conflict and that's become such a blessing in your life to have them back but some of you I also see maybe a new relationship coming in this month because you have the page of cups and the page of cups here has this little fish that always is present usually in the Rider-Waite-Smith cards showcasing that little um 
cup with the fish and the fish is showcasing curiosity it can showcase artistry but it also does showcase um connecting either back to your subconscious or connecting with someone who's come into your life so a new friend a new relationship um a new uh family member coming back in something like that might be coming in so you're either connecting back to yourself connecting with a friend or connecting with someone whom you're interested in either as an ex or otherwise and since this is a general reading for the month for there for quite a few of you you're gonna have to figure out which way resonates for you but I am seeing with this passion card and the chariot as well um, that you might just either be taking up a new hobby or a new craft or something that maybe you have put away for a while and you haven't really checked back out that you've been sort of stuffing away, haven't had time to do. So you might be trying something that you've been very passionate about and really going and setting your mind on it because the chariot has so much powerful, empowering energy and like go-getter energy. She just can do anything. Um, and with the passion card, it's really showcasing to me that it's something that you're very passionate about and that you want to continue to pursue now that you've just decided to take that direction, now that you've decided to empower yourself and go for it um, and connect again with what you haven't in a while. But for some of you that also can be showcasing again more of that like someone new might be coming in especially on a more romantic level you might just be getting you know more passionate with someone connecting more intensely with someone having more compassion for someone in the past and um with the queen of cups too and the fact that you have both the queen and the page it's showcasing to me that some of you might be connecting back with your mom as well uh, because it has sort of that motherly energy, mother-daughter sort of energy. So this could be either connecting back with your mother or connecting with um, your um, your daughter even possibly. So this could go either way. But there is that connection that I think could be where you might have had something you needed to resolve, some sort of conflict that has happened, but it's going to resolve this month, which is really exciting to see. And then also with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups together, it's really showcasing to me that you might need to take some time for yourself, um, ground yourself in love as well, because I think that you might not have had enough time. You've had a lot of this go-getter energy. You had a lot of energy to want to seek out someone else and really want to be there for someone else, have a lot of passion for someone else. But you haven't really taken the time to look after yourself. You've been very sociable. You've been really trying to be there for everyone, especially during the season with the holidays. It makes everyone want to be more giving. But it's really important this month to also be giving to yourself. So take that time that you need. Make sure you're resting up. Make sure that you're giving yourself the love and um, energy that you deserve. So that's another overall message that I'm really seeing for a lot of you. And that's going to be a blessing in your life because it can be where we get a little too, you know, knowing what we want and then like going straight after these things, we're having tunnel vision. That's the word I'm looking for. You've had a lot of tunnel vision and not a lot of time to ground yourself back down. Um, grounding yourself either in baths or through water would be really good for you um, or grounding yourself maybe by a nice cozy fire or something having to do with like maybe sunbathing for some of you who are in a location that isn't as cold. That might be a great way to connect, especially with the Father Divine Mother Earth earth love in your heart sort of card is showcasing that to me but because you have the heart chakra and you have so much love in this it's just showcasing to me that the overall message is love for yourself love for your friends love for your family and having passion for for what you're after and what you're wanting to go towards so those are the big overall messages there of blessings for you in the month of december so let's go ahead and look at some more information utilizing the the letter tiles because I love to use those for your monthly readings um, because you might find out maybe who these people are, especially based off of the letter tiles because they might showcase a name or an initial. They might showcase other sorts of information. So let's go ahead and do those for you, group um, one. So group one, group one, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance for group one for their monthly blessings in December. Group one, group one. Okay. 
guys got quite a few here. Let's go ahead and look on through them. So you have E, F, B, another E. You have another E. <laughs> so quite a few E's being showcased here. A W, an L, an I, an R, an X, and a J. So I'm seeing Facebook here. Um, just because that's kind of what's showcasing to me here. So I see that Facebook might be something for some of you for how you might be connecting to someone. Um, maybe you meet someone through Facebook or you connect back to someone through Facebook or even through some sort of social media, um, sort of maybe dating online, um, kind of way. I also see we, which makes me think again, more connecting with more people in your life. Um, not just the I showcased here. Um, you also had the X, which again, makes me think an X might be coming back in, especially with the holidays, people just start showing back up in your life who you haven't seen in a while. So I see that. I also see a lie here. So be careful of some people coming in, especially maybe an X. Um, you did have that card of, um, compassion. So there might just be something that's been hidden under the rug and that might be coming to the surface this month. Um, and then I also see February. So I don't know if you might be planning for something for February, especially with the chariot and the passion card. So something you might be planning for that's going to be beyond this month. Um, but I do see February there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set these up here. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always curious um, what you guys come up with with each of these. You know, maybe write them down, try different combinations. Um, but I'm always curious, so let me know what you're seeing in them yourself. And we'll go ahead and get started with your charms, group one. So group one, group one. So looking for an information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in. For group one, for the blessings in December. Blessings for December. Group one. Okay. So a few just fell in my lap as always. <laughs> oh, and I also just realized you have... An L also over here. So you have two L's. Must have missed that one there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, just organize the board here so you can see more of what's going on and so that we can actually unpack some of this. Right. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom you in. Just a little bit there so you can see more of what's happening on the board and we'll go ahead and get started I'm actually gonna pull you another chakra love card but I'm going to pull out only the ones that are associated with the crown chakras that's showcased here all right so here are all the ones associated with the crown chakra so I'm gonna go ahead and pull you one of those so we can get some more information on why that one came up all right so you have here divinity crown chakra and then the um specific crystal that goes along with this one is blue lace agate so that is the blue lace agate there it's a very calming stone but here you have um divinity recognize the divine in the mirror so again like i was saying i feel like you guys haven't been giving yourself enough love um, giving yourself enough care and so you need to look at yourself in the mirror especially if some of you have been having body issues or if you've been looking um, not even issues that's sort of a strong word but just reflecting on yourself in maybe a less helpful way um, I just think that there might need to be some more love given to yourself just give yourself a hug give yourself some love make sure to say lovely things in the mirror say things that are going to be not only empowering but things that are going to really change your view of yourself especially if you haven't been noticing the spirituality in yourself the love in yourself all of the good blessings that come from from your body from your mind from your soul so be sure to give yourself some love this this month i think that's super important um especially since it came next to the creativity heart so this is literally what i was talking about with the chariot card and the passion card so having passion and love 
for yourself can also be something that you might be wanting to do. So maybe giving yourself more love as a blessing could even come in the form of maybe doing more exercise, eating um, with moderation, doing things like that, or even just accepting yourself, forgiving yourself, um, especially since some of us put so much pressure during the holiday seasons for how we look and how we're perceived and all of this stuff and less how we personally feel about ourselves. So definitely dive into some of that this month because I think something good be could, could be coming out of that. You also have the dark matter charm. So this is the charm about things that are unknown to you because dark matter is a sort of thing in the universe that is very unknown. It's something we don't know any, not very much about. So it's very unknown. So there's something that you're not sure about this month, um, especially with that lie. It's making me think not necessarily that you're lying to someone, but there could be surprises. Um, just realized it's sort of blurry. There could be surprises that are coming in in the forms of gifts. So people are trying, maybe having to lie to you just because they're trying to make sure you don't see that gift they're, they're giving. Um, maybe a surprise party or something like that could be coming in. So there is something that maybe you've kind of caught up on, but you haven't gotten all the information. Because I am seeing the black hole charm, which sometimes can represent like depression. So be sure um, again, with that love for yourself, maybe grounding in love outside could be really important for some of you, grounding yourself in love in that way. Um, because the this specific charm talks about things that are unknowns in some ways, but it also does showcase like there could be negativity in the room. And especially if some of you are empaths and you're going to be spending a lot of time around people or just going out, having to spend more time around people whom are spreading negativity or spreading these sorts of energies back into your aura or your bubble, it's really important to, um, you know, be more choosy if you need to push those people away, have shielding if you need to in a more magical sense, things like that. I think it's really important this month um, because you're going to be around people who you aren't always necessarily around and I think you're just going to need to sort of shield away from that negativity or find ways to um, look at it differently because you have the rose-colored glasses here which showcases, you know, like everything's perfect, everything's fine, everything's good and it was it was right underneath the black hole. So I think you, you've you been focusing too much on the negativity and less on the positivity. So especially with that Facebook coming up, it made me think too that you might be spending too much time on social media comparing yourself, being less compassionate to yourself. And that negativity can spread even through a social media post. Like that energy can spread through time and space. So be sure that you're, you're really feeding yourself with something that's... And like feeding your energy with something that's going to be positive for you. You also have pets coming in. So you might be getting a pet. You might be seeking out pets or love from pets. Or maybe just being sure that they're, they're just a blessing in your life. This can also be a car... Um, not a card, a charm. That makes me think because pets are like our little kids... Um, so this can also be with that mother and daughter sort of dynamic or some sort of parenting sort of dynamic happening there. Make sure that they are around. Make sure that you're you're really talking to them, reconnecting with your kids, reconnecting with your children, reconnecting with your mother or your father because there is a connection there that maybe has been lost or just you've been too busy or something like that. So be sure to be connecting with them because they are definitely your blessing and your guiding light this month. You also had the tower charm, but I'm really seeing this um, less as a tower um, charm because it can kind of go two different ways and more like the manipulating charm because it's all very manipulated, like it's been sort of twisted. So that makes me think of the lie again. So really be sure that there's, you know, you're being very honest with people. Make sure other people are being honest with you. Have those honest conversations because it does have the let's try again. So that's also making me think that there's a... Um, Something that's just been sort of pushed in a corner and not talked about for a while, and it's probably going to bubble up um, because you had this charm there. All right, so I've kind of talked about the center for quite a while. You also had this charm, though, which is all on innocence. So this is all about um, your innocence because I wore this as like a kid. So being more innocent, maybe reconnecting with your inner child, again, with your children in your life could be really important or your pets. Um, you also had right next to, falling right next to the we, 
you had the cheetah charm. So this is something that happens fast. So if you are going to maybe start up a new relationship with someone this month, um, it might happen very quickly, very fast. So be sure to be prepared for that. For some of you who maybe aren't looking to go into a relationship right now, that might be something that could come up. You also had right next to the crown chakra and the passion um, or the creative heart here, the bottled up charm. So this represents something that's been bottled up for too long and it's ready to burst. You're ready to like get something out. So I think that has a lot to do with your creative energy that you haven't had the chance to explore. And, um, and this also can mean that you might be feeling overwhelmed by it. Like it's just, you have a lot of crafts to do. You have a lot of things to get done, a lot of passion for maybe the holidays, but that doesn't mean there, there isn't stress that comes with that. On the other side of the board next to lie again is making me think more on the communication. So be really sure that you're clear and concise with people because, um, things might just get misconstrued or not really manipulated in a manipulative way, but more in like, um, you just didn't mean it that way and people don't hear you correctly and there's just sort of a mis um, communication happening in that way because you have this charm which is in a language I don't understand so it is showcasing something that showcases you know things just not connecting you're not able to talk you're not able to hear someone out truly and you might have to find new ways and more creative ways to communicate this month. And that might even be through social media, or it might just be that you're going to have to wait things out um, until February to come full circle. And lastly here, you have the charms. Um, this is sort of another dark matter charm, so I won't really talk too much on that one. But you do have this charm, which is the universe. So this is like whatever you think of in terms of the universe. For me, the universe is big and wide and vast and expansive. And next to that, you have the not growing charm so this is the charm that has snow on it. it's it's like a charm that has a little little bits of snow on it so it makes me think of something that's had to that's been covered up by the snow that you can't get out as often that you've had to sort of reclude recluse yourself inward um and it's not something that you like you don't like feeling smaller you don't like feeling like you can't see the whole universe again so it's really important to expand your spirituality this month be sure to expand in that sense um because that's sort of showing up there quite quite strongly. And the last charms that I'm going to talk about here is the fluffy charm. So this is things that are, are your, your comforts, things that make you feel fluffy, that make you feel like mushy and lovable. And you have that next to the self-love charm and on top of the full moon, which showcases things that are being illuminated and that are manifesting. So if you've worked on anything for self-love, Again, taking self-love baths could be really helpful for you, especially with all that water energy in the cards. Um, can be through a passion, can be through your kids. Um, but again, whatever that outlet is for you, whatever self-care, self-love is for you that works best for you, definitely practice it this month. It's always important, but it's really being highlighted. So with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here at group one. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful month and you enjoy all these blessings with your loved ones, with new relationships that are coming in, with these creative passions, with the universe and your spirituality, with the divine. Um, connecting back to there. Be sure that there are people around you who are going to actually give you love and that you can ground yourself in their love. Um, there might be a relationship that comes in very fast. You also had that lie energy, that miscommunication, that manipulative energy. So if there's an ex coming in or people who you don't want in your life, push them out of your bubble. You don't need them or find ways to shield yourself against them if you can't, you know, physically remove them from your life. But um, be sure that the communication that you're having is clear and concise this month and you should be golden. There's so many wonderful blessings coming in in the forms of your kids, your children, with your parents and your family, and with yourself. Um, so be sure to give yourself a lot of love this month. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please let me know down in the comments below and by giving this video a like um, about what you thought about these charms and if you enjoyed and how everything went for you. I'm always curious if things resonate differently for you or if um, something else came in for you using your own personal intuition. So please let me know in the comments down below and be sure to give this video a like so I know. 
And uh, lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos here with me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have you guys here. Uh, feel free to subscribe so you can see all these weekly videos, these monthly videos and timeless videos that will be coming into my channel every single Monday. So with all that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hello group two! If you've decided to choose this little guy throwing snowballs as well as this a uh, green jingle bell then this is the pile for you i'm going to go ahead and set those both down right here for you so you can see them during the reading as today we have a lot to get through and i'm very excited we are going to be using the charms the watercolor affirmations we're also going to be using the modern witch tarot the celtic uh or sorry not the celtic the chakra love deck and the um spell casting oracle if I can get all of my decks correct and in a line here today, but um, we also are going to be using these letter tiles, which I love using for each month because it gives you a little bit more information on all of the different uh, people that could be coming in your life, different small little things. The alphabet can be so helpful, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so as you guys know, we're going to be looking into the blessings that are coming into your life, so it's very important to um, not only look at lessons in terms of the good stuff, but also the life lessons that might be coming in that we need to know about. So let's go ahead and get started on your monthly uh, reading here, group two. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in in the form of blessings for group two, group two. We're looking for group two. All right. So these might be your three cards here already, right and ready to go. So you have here the Devil, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Wands. So I'm sensing a bit of a magical, more spiritual side here coming in with the High Priestess um, and even the Queen of Wands. So that's kind of fun, but we'll go ahead and look more into that using the spell casting deck here so group one group one we're looking for any information energy insights or guidance coming in in the form of blessings or life lessons what do we need to know about group one or sorry group two's week or month <laughs> rather <laughs> all right so we got here um a lot of them were fumbling around but we have here new beginnings and freedom that came up here for you today. So we have new beginnings and freedom. Um, let's go ahead and look into your chakra love message here. So these have to do with your chakras. So what do we need to balance this month or look into in the energy of your chakras for blessings for group two for the month of December? All right, let's see what we got here. You have here the crown chakra, and you have the crown chakra in peace. Be, or sorry, in stillness, the answer will be revealed. So the crown chakra also showcases with each of these cards a different crystal that you can utilize to help balance the chakra or bring about peace in your life. And the one you have here is clear quartz. So that's a great one. Here is clear quartz actually right here. Um, you, it's very easily accessible too, so it's a great one to bring in, but peace is the one that you got here. Um, we're also going to look into your last message with the uh, watercolor affirmations, but stay tuned later because we'll be doing the charms and the letters. So group two, group two, what do we need to know for group two for the month of December? All right, and then you also have here, what if, what if? So that is the, those are the cards that you had coming in. Let's go ahead and unpack your month. All right, so the blessings that I'm seeing very, very apparent here is with new beginnings, freedom, peace, even that queen of wands are all really connecting to the element of the devil here. And the devil showcases a unhealthy, toxic either relationship with yourself in terms of the habits that you have in your life, in terms of the way that you connect with yourself, in the way that you view yourself. Um, but it's just something that's toxic that you know isn't really working for you or that is just 
you can tell, you know, I feel like you intuitively know this isn't good for you, either in a relationship, platonic, um, romantic, or otherwise, um, in a more familial way even, but some sort of habit that you're having either with someone or with yourself in your daily life needs a change. And I think you intuitively, like I said, know that with the high priestess here. Um, but you haven't been making that change because the high priestess sometimes is more on the reflective sort of energy, the where you look into it and you know intuitively that you shouldn't be. Oh my goodness. Um, sorry, the moon just popped out through my window and shined at me and it was so crazy because I was just talking about intuitive energy. So there's definitely some moon related energy popping in here too. Um, but Anyways, small tangent there, but basically I think that there's something that you intuitively know is not work working for you um, and it's just time to either end it or find a new beginning within it because something's been holding you back. You've been feeling like you've been caged, that there's something that isn't right for you, that you just know that you're just feeling like you're not getting enough breath, you're not getting enough oxygen you're not getting enough out of what you're you're in right now and that might even be lockdown for some of you it might be that you're not being able to just get out and see friends which maybe is making the habits that are in your life or the creature comforts that you kind of cling to might be just heightened at this current moment but you do have the birds coming out here showcasing freedom but they also showcase communication so be, be sure that you're communicating with other people in other ways make sure just because you're locked down physically does it mean that you can't still connect in a spiritual sense to guides and angels or anything like that? And you can also connect to people just in general in your life right now. Make sure they're only a call away. They're only a little bit away. So you don't have to worry too much on that front because there are new beginnings that are coming in your life too. So you have this new door, this new beginning, this new opening coming in. The moon showcasing new beginnings as well. All these birds again showcasing new beginnings. So there could be a new opportunity coming into your life. Or this could be just you deciding when you step out of this door, when you step out of this cage, that is your new beginning. This is your new cycle, something you're ready to start and step through. Um, it's going to bring peace to your life. It's going to make things a little less complicated, a little less um, intense. And it's going to be something that you can chill out in for a while because honestly the energy that I'm getting from these cards and just in myself right now is just feeling like you've just been oh you know things are just really tight and like my muscles feel tighter everything just feels tighter and so I really think you've just been sort of either someone has put you in a manipulative situation whether that's with someone you love or otherwise but there's just this situation that either is manipulative or toxic or you've put yourself in a toxic relationship there. Or not relationship, but a toxic relationship with yourself. Um, maybe self-sabotaging yourself, not getting to bed when you need to, not letting yourself have the needs that you need. So making sure you're eating well, making sure that you're... Um, you know, giving yourself love, making sure that you have love coming in because those new beginnings is also showcasing and evolving in your life. So new beginnings can be very scary, but they also, you know, they hide themselves in endings, which means there's something that needs to end. And I think you've been thinking about it for a while because you have the what if here. So that showcases to me that you're thinking, what if things don't go right? What if I leave them? What if this doesn't work? What if I did something wrong? What if it's on my end? All of these sorts of things might be swimming in your mind and they could be a plethora of other ones. Um, but the, the thing that we don't always consider is what if things go right when I do? Or what if I had all the opportunities that I could and now I can be free? What if I can be free? What if there is opportunity there? What if there are new beginnings? What if I can change, you know, my reality right now? What if, what if, what if? And it's, it's changing that what if to an action because with the high priestess, that's all the reflective energy. So you're definitely going to have blessings coming in by reflecting through journaling, reflecting on the habits that you have in your life, maybe doing a habit tracker or reflecting and talking with those people that are directly involved in this situation. And then you have the queen of wands, which showcases to me, um, the queen of wands, she is a go-getter. She is a she has that fiery energy that just showcases that she, you know, she's empowered. She's got um, so much um, 
just passion and enthusiasm and I got this kind of energy like she is so much more free she's optimistic and she can she's assertive you know she doesn't let people walk all over her she knows she's a queen she knows she's got this and so it's just what if you can turn the table back to having this this if this is a power struggle even with yourself turning that power back towards yourself not necessarily meaning that they don't have a power in a relationship but just that things can equal out that things can balance back out and if this is a situation where maybe you've been more assertive too it can be also going the other way but really I'm seeking or rather seeing that you are with this cage and the freedom I think it has more to do with your side needing that freedom needing that air needing that breath you know to come back in so with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to your other, um, car or not other cards, your other charms and the letter tiles so we can get some more information um, because I always think that you can get per people's names or you can see initials coming in, different places, um, addresses, things like that can come in through these as well as words. So let's see what you have coming in for your month of December, group two, group two, group two. What blessings are coming in for group two, month of December, group two, group two. Okay, let's see what's here. So you have E... I N A I see Anne here. Um, you have another N, you have a Y, a C, and an E. Oh my goodness, can. That's the first thing that came up. What if you can? Um, so where's that what if? Let's go ahead and get that out so it doesn't get hidden. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. What if you can? That's what I'm seeing. What if you can? So, um, especially with the Y too, it's making me think of that. So you have also E and then you have Y, which sometimes me makes me think of like you actually asking the question of why. So there's definitely a lot of questioning, a lot of reflective energy, a lot of less of a statement and more of a question. So you have can here. So you definitely can do the thing that you are holding yourself back from. Maybe you've chained yourself down from. You've been self-sabotaging, not feeling like you can have what you want and not realizing you have the key to do so. So those are, those. that's the most immediate word I see here. You also have, um, I know it doesn't spell entirely knee, but it makes me think of knees, so maybe something might be a mobility reason why you feel like you might be, not be able to do the thing, things that you wish to do this month, so it's important to also think um, that way, but, and I also am just seeing new, I know it doesn't fully spell that, but those are the letters that you have here for the month. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've spelt any other kinds of words or other things have resonated with you. I'm always so interested. Um, to see what else pops out, but for now, let's go ahead and look at your charms, group two. Group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two, month of December, the month of December for group two, in terms of blessings. Wow, I gave you guys so many. Oh my goodness, that's so interesting. So I'm going to pick up all of the ones that fell upside down here so we can fix up what we have here um, so things don't get too uh, confusing. So, okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know some people like to skip through these, but I'm always so fascinated to see what happens here because this is where the magic happens, you know? Um, so yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see more of what is happening here as there's a lot to look through. So let me just, there we go. 
So there's a lot of charms, so I'm going to be flying through these. There might be a few that I don't get to. Um, so if so, and if you're curious about one, let me know in the comments down below and I can get back to you. Uh, but in the central ring for you this month, you have Thou Shall Not Kill, um, which some people think of as like, oh my god, what does that mean? But it really just means like, don't kill my vibes, don't walk on, or don't, um, what's that word? don't kill my parade or, you know, walk on my parade. Don't, you know, ruin my parade. That's the word I'm looking for. Don't ruin my parade. That's what it makes me think. Somebody's killing your vibes. They're taking you down. They're trying to pull you down with you. And that's why I was seeing, seeing that manipulative energy, that self-sabotage. You're kind of ruining your own parade or someone else is ruining your parade. Um, so especially with the holidays, other people that you don't normally, um, see all the time might be coming in or ruining some of that holiday spirit for you, which I know doesn't sound like much of a blessing, but you had that peace, right? Um, and then you have this charm, which showcases to me the crown chakra or um, so it's really showcasing to me taking more breath, using that breath work. Cause like I said, I felt like just in my own physical body while I'm doing this reading, I feel very like, I just feel like I can't get enough breath. Um, so I really feel like it's important for you guys to do breath work this month. So use meditation, using uh, breath work in meditation could be really helpful for you and could be such a blessing to help bring down anxiety, to bring down, um, you know, put some barriers up against those people who are not really there for you, um, or even to just reflect with yourself to see why maybe you are self-sabotaging your own happiness. Because you're definitely growing this month because you have the growth charm. So this showcases you growing, you learning, you continuing to evolve, you having that new beginning come in because this also has springtime energy to it. So I do see some of that, that new beginning coming in and that comes through taking that reflective time that you need, that intuitive time. You have the uh, don't jump the gun charm. So this makes me think of like, don't jump the gun. Don't try to go too fast. Don't try to do it all in one night. It's going to take time. It's going to have to unfold itself over time. This isn't something that this energy that's changing for you, that's evolving, the freedom that's coming in, it's going to take um, a lot of reflective work, a lot of breath work, a lot of energy, and a lot of intention to actually make this happen. Because outside of this bubble, you also have the angels' charms. This makes me think of angels that are communicating with you, communicating back with your spirituality to bring that peace. The crown chakra also talks a lot on that, and the fact that you had two sort of more magical charms, or charms, uh, magical cards here of the queen of wands and the high priestess. That's making me think also here that that there could be someone coming in that you're communicating with, maybe someone having to do with the moon, since I saw that there earlier, but that could be just a coincidence. Um, but you have the angel energy or winged energy coming in um, next to the innocence charm. So this might even be that you weren't a very spiritual person, but you're finding your spirituality this month because this is the innocence charm, the new beginning coming in, that purity, that peace, um, that that clean and cleansed energy coming in. So you could have some spiritual help happening on the sidelines for that to come forth. You also have over here temporary energy showing up. So this is something that's not going to last forever, um, although it does have to run its course. And with that, you have here honor thy mother and thy father. So this makes me think that, again, you might not be seeing people all the time. Right now, maybe you aren't able to connect with your mother. You might not be able to connect with your father. Or if you're a parent as well, you might not be able to connect with your kids or other loved ones in your family. And this is temporary. I know that it's very difficult. I know it's not something that we're always, you know, wanting in our lives right now or, you know, we may not want to be so far apart from them. But remember that they can, that you can still. What if you call them? What if you look towards other ways? What if you get a little bit more creative? You know, it's time to grow to find other ways, other options. Um, but you also just might be connecting with them, calling them, seeing them more often in new ways. You also have the cut charm, or the cut charm, the um, cutting someone off from your life, your bubble, cutting things out of your life, because this is the scissors charm, so it's just cutting off that energy that does not serve you anymore. So we already talked quite a bit on that, um, showcased with the devil card, 
uh, so the habits in your life, but some of that might have to do with the letter W more specifically because you have the letter W showing up right next to it. Um, and then that also makes me think with the E, it makes me think we, so there's definitely someone else also involved for some of you. Um, you also have here the charm of the, um, the mini hat. So this makes me think of more feminine divine energy because this is like the, the more feminine side of it um, or the more passive side of it. You also have here with this charm, it makes me think of honestly the queen of wands because uh, she's more of the more magical queen of all of them to me personally. So you might be manifesting something. You might be bringing in magic to help you seek out. Maybe there's going to be new ways of showcasing your spirituality, like I said, coming in. And that might even be connecting here with music. This charm also makes me think of, you know, double the beat. You know, it's trying to, it's making something go faster in a, in a more musical sense. Um, so as this comes after the action moon here and it heads over towards the full moon and beyond that, I really feel like you're trying to speed something up. You're trying to maybe jump the gun on something, maybe trying to make something happen faster than it needs to, trying to push it a little too fast. And it's showcasing here with the uh, icicle charm. This is the charm of being more prepared, making sure to be more cautious too, um, because icicles, as some of you might know who live in a climate that has icicles, if they start to melt or they try to melt too quickly, they can fall and that can be a very dangerous situation with how pointy they are. Um, you know, they're like little daggers ready to go. So be sure that you are um, taking things a little bit more slowly because there is something that is bugging you because you have the bug charm which makes me think of something that is bugging you and then you have the turtle spirit which showcases slower more mature energy so I think that um, there's just something that you're trying to have happen too fast and it's in instead try to figure out why you need to be more prepared for a conversation with someone maybe being more prepared in how you let some habits go maybe not going cold turkey would be really helpful for some of you especially with that devil charm or those habits that you're ready to be rid of so be sure that you are having those new beginnings come in the time that they need to and being persistent is really important on that too um you also have here in this last little clump, clump which i'm going to quickly speak on because i'm kind of running out of time for your pile you have the letter s here so that's showcased right next to the locked love charm so again there might be just love that is locked right now that isn't available or you just feel like there isn't love for yourself possibly again with that s makes me think self-sabotage makes me think because there's two s's in that it makes me think that you're ready to be more mature with yourself ready to have more mature conversations possibly having that new beginning which also showcases that something is just you know come to the end so you can start again because you have the senior charm so again it's just showcasing being more mature having that wisdom come in from this this um cage that you've been in because you have the cage here but it didn't fall like a cage it fell like freedom and when it came like that you also have here the stripes charm or this deeper charm which makes me think of showing your stripes showing yourself being true and honest with yourself and the world letting that come out and um from that showing your stripes here again showcased it's going to give you more confidence it's going to give you new memories new opportunities new beginnings um that you can have you also have here the direction charm, which showcases not just any old direction. It's not like you're going on in, in a new direction, but it's a direction that you have to forge yourself because this is the era where you have to literally forge and make it. So you're going to have to put in the persistence. You're going to have to put in the work, um, but just try not to do it too quickly. You also have the love charm and the emperor charm. So there is sort of a connection to being more structured and prepared in that way for this change, for this freedom, for this new beginning, um, so that wisdom can come in and so that what bugs you can leave in its own time and not be so like ugh, all, all at once. Um, but with all of that said, because I've got to go ahead and close up your pile, um, I just want to quickly recap here that you have peace coming into your life. That's a major blessing that's coming back in. Peace and good love and freedom to yourself new beginnings, such good energy, maybe even working with magic this month. Um, but you might be having to be around people that aren't good for you this month because of the holidays or because um, overwhelmness, self-sabotage, things like that. So it's really important to cut that off, um, but cut it off slowly. 
cut it off and be prepared for it. So if that's an addiction, a habit, or a person in your life, it's really important to go about it in a slower way. Um, but it will happen in time with the help of you know, divine guidance and with the help of yourself taking that reflective energy and time to figure out how best to approach it. Um, but you're going to have this empowerment come in. You're going to have this new beginning come in. So that's super, super exciting to see. You've got a lot happening this month, a lot of um, new energy, but that's going to take some time. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give this video a like if you did and you found it helpful. It not only helps the channel, but lets me know that you enjoyed this reading. Um, also, let me know what you thought of the charms, the different cards, if any of these sort of made different words for you. I'm always so curious and always invite you guys to pause the video when you need to to look more deeply. Um, but I'm always interested in the feedback, so let me know in the comments down below. And lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of the very first vid videos here with me and readings here with me, welcome to the channel. It's lovely to have you guys here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the charms and the different cards that we pulled here today. And if you did, please know that I do other readings like this every single Monday that you can check out. So please consider subscribing and joining this community so that you can stay up to date. And uh, with all of that said, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm wishing you guys a wonderful month, a magical month, and a month of freedom and empowerment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, group three. If you've decided to choose this little snowman, as well as the silver bell, then this is the pile for you. I'm gonna set them down over here so they don't jingling the whole entire time. Um, but you can see them during your reading as we have a lot that we're going to be unpacking today. Um, we're going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the modern witch tarot, the spellcasting oracle, and the chakra love oracle deck as well. And we're also going to be, as I've been trying to do this more um, for the monthly blessings videos, but I'm going to also be using the letter tiles so we can look more into different names, places, other energies that are coming in as well. So we've got a lot to look into too, so let's go ahead and get started. And as some of you know, I do these blessings videos um, each month, but I also like to look into not only the blessings, but other energies that are coming in also for your month of December in this case. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in in the form of blessings for group three's December. The December blessings for group three. Anything we need to know in the form of life lessons and blessings for the month of December. So here you have the Knight of Cups. So let's go ahead and see what else you have coming in in the form of your tarot cards. So group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance for group three. So you also have here the Four of Wands. I said that's so weird. Wands. Four of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. So those are your main cards here for your tarot cards for the month of December. But let's go ahead and look at your Spellcasting Oracle to get some more information. So Group 3. Group 3. We're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group three for the month of December. Group three, any blessings that are coming in. So you also have here inspiration. So I'm honestly feeling cold, cold, called to pull you guys one more. So group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group three. There we are. You also have here protection protection. So there you are with those cards. Let's go ahead and look into your chakra love oracle message. So if you work with chakras, this could be really helpful for some of you, but we're looking for also the overall message that's coming in for blessings for group three. So in this case, you didn't get a specific, um, chakra but instead the balancing of your chakra system and you have the um 
chakra balance of cycles. So out of chaos comes creation is what it says here. And these are the different crystals that you can utilize this month if you utilize crystal energy um, to help balance out the idea of cycles. And that is Amazonite, car Carnelian, Peach Moonstone, and Red Jasper. So there you are with that specific one of cycles. Out of chaos comes creation. And lastly here, before we do the charms and the letter tiles, so stay tuned for those, is your watercolor affirmation. So group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance for group three on your month of December. And you have here, what a lovely one, family and friends. So there you go for your month. So you have family and friends, cycles, inspiration and protection, the knight of uh, cups, the five of pentacles, and the four of wands. So let's go ahead and start unpacking your month group three. So right off the bat, if any of you guys are familiar with tarot, you're going to know that the five of pentacles isn't a very exciting one to have come up necessarily, but you have here the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles talks about possibly going through some difficult um, times in your relationship to money, to your material goods, to um, especially with the holiday season and giving different gifts this year with, ever, with whichever holiday you um, specifically celebrate, you might just have a harder time getting those gifts or finding those deals or literally even maybe having them travel to you as well like with delivering and the mail system right now for a lot of people around the world this is a difficult time and I understand that but the important thing is with the family and friends coming up and especially in the same color as well it's making me think that you are going to be inspired by them you're going to feel like maybe you're going to be inspired to do handmade gifts this year if you're not able to personally um, buy a gift if you have the supplies you could do something more homemade you might be inspired to have to get out of the box and what you're going to get someone this year um, but also you just might be feeling a little low um, in your your physical state um, like as in through your body or you might just be feeling like you don't have the finances to to get through certain parts of this month and it's really important to realize that other people are struggling around you too so be sure to talk to them be sure to seek them out be sure to find those friends and family because you have that church window that always shows up in this card and it showcases that there's other people there for you it's being sure to ask for help if you need it ask for that financial help if you need it ask for help in different gifts that you might be giving ask for help in your physical state too if you need help with um by going to the doctor if you need help with looking after yourself or just in general making sure to look towards other people who are in your community who are ready and and there for you um so you have that that different card coming up here and it does make me think of out of chaos comes creation so less even on the cycles necessarily part of this card but more of just that phrasing is what made me think you might be hand making gifts or feeling inspired by maybe not having all of the money but finding other wonderful things that come out of life being inspired by the other grateful things that are in your life finding making gratitude lists making sure to look at the smaller more down-to-earth grounded things these security things especially since this is giving me sort of root chakra sacral chakra it's making me think of like um making sure you're rooted in your your security um feeling like you have the means for those sorts of things and that's all that matters at the end of the day that your friends and your family are okay that they can give you strength that they can give you protection that they can give you love but with that it is highlighting um especially for a lot of us this year holidays are going to be very different um they might be the same for some of you especially if you have that f family bubble that you've sort of built um with this different pandemic going on but you have protection being showcased here and it's being showcased right next to where i intuitively felt like it needed to be placed was with the four of wands and the four of wands showcases different celebrations holidays weddings big events like birthdays things like that or big achievements that you socially gather with other people this can be date nights anniversaries things like that so it's important to be protected at this time be sure to protect your energy be sure to protect yourself against the virus be sure to protect yourself um mentally or physically be sure that there's protection there if that's 
also possibly in a spiritual sense utilizing some of these different um, amulets or things like that that you could even create for yourself. Getting a little bit more crafty in some of that might be important for some of you um, especially during this but like I said you might be feeling emotional about this this year especially with the uh, Knight of Cups here. So the Knight of Cups showcases sometimes being blinded by love or blinded by your emotions looking at them too too closely as you can see that she doesn't even realize she's about to cross a river because she's too focused on the cup she's too focused on her emotions the she's too focused on how maybe you feel overwhelmed by this year being overwhelmed by um, love even coming into your life being overwhelmed by these cycles that keep coming in by how you feel towards your finance your financial situation right now how you feel. There's a lot of emotion that's being showcased at the heart of all of this and I think it's important that you ground yourself down in your friends and family and if that means you just have to wear a mask or if that means that you're going to have to just find other ways uh, to communicate or other ways to find your spiritual side here, whatever that is, whatever sort of holiday event is happening that you're going to have to protect yourself against is going to be very important. So make sure you're not blinding yourself with the idea of like, oh, I really want to see my friends. I really want to see my family. I really want to be able to touch them and hug them and be there for them. But it doesn't really serve anyone if you aren't being protected, if you aren't trying to be as safe as possible to keep not only yourself safe, but them as well. So that's definitely showcased here and that might get you down in the dumps. That might make you feel a little bit upset and I understand that as well. Um, but I think that that's going to be a blessing for you in the end because I really do feel like it's important, especially with this card really needing to come up, is to protect yourself and so you're going to have to be a little bit more creative with the way that you're going to have to host these events at this time. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and look into your uh, letter tile so we can get some more information on your month um, and see what might come up in terms of names, places, maybe the holidays popping up or other sorts of words that showcase themselves in these letter tiles. So let's get started. Group 3. Group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in in the form of blessings for group three. Okay, so let's look at these, see what comes up here. So you have the letters Y. S A O V and R makes me think R V N E E, which is next to here, which is making me think of C as well as yes. You have the letters L and M. So, like I said, I saw C here, which makes me think like you're seeing something more clearly this month or seeing someone possibly in person or having to see them in a different way this month. I also saw RV, so again, you might be traveling. So, maybe you're in a situation with your family and friends where maybe it's not even that you're being you know, blinded by your love and your feeling and your affection towards your friends and family and you sort of risk things a little bit more. But you also might be feeling the protection or need to protect them at this current time from also doing that, especially since you might be feeling like you have to travel to see them or you have to travel in this way. Also, whenever a why pops up, it makes me think that you're questioning something at this time. There's some sort of questioning. You're really looking through something, possibly maybe having to do with your finances. So maybe something having to do with your job. I'm seeing a bit of that. Um, you also had the N-A... M, which makes me think of name, but it's not really coming out. Maybe name with these last two letters um, of O and L, but you have those popping up. Also see Molly, and I also see Rave here as well. So again, more party energy. So definitely protect your protect yourself if there are people in your life right now that are pressuring you to possibly go out um out of isolation out of out out of your comfort zone really look into some of that cuz there is protection popping up quite heavily for me here for you um but let's go ahead and get some more information with your time for the month for 3 for 3 for 3 
any blessings coming in for the month of November, I mean the month of December rather, for group three, group three, group three. Okay, so I had a couple fall around me. Um, you had the letter P show up here over on the, um, the chakra love deck. So that makes me think of something having to do with your chakras, especially with cycles that you've been in. So that is showing up for yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and pick through these that showcase different energies here. Um, so I'm going to make sure that we have everything sorted out. Oh, you have another chakra charm come up. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see everything that's happening here um, and so that it doesn't get lost. There's nothing below here, so don't worry about that. All right, so like I mentioned, you have a chakra charm pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of the ones relating to your root chakra here so we can get some more information on that specific charm. All right, so I've just pulled out all of the ones having to do with the root chakra. So let's go ahead and see why this charm has decided to pop up here for you today. So group three, we're looking for your root chakra in terms of blessings for the month of November. What do we need to know? All right, so you have here the root chakra card of grounding. Sink your roots deep, connect them to the heart of the earth. And the uh, specific, um, I was going to say charm, but the specific uh, crystal that you are being here shown is uh, red jasper. So that is the charm, or goodness, I keep wanting to say charm, the crystal that you should be utilizing this month if you utilize crystals. This is actually red jasper right here. It's a very grounding stone indeed. I absolutely love it. Um, but I really see here, especially next to what you have here, you have the jealousy charm or the envious charm. So especially with finances right now, you might be feeling envious of someone, envious of what they have, envious of their money, their job what they have, the home that they have, the life that they have, especially with the holidays, it's really easy to compare yourself to other people. And it's important to root yourself back down again, like I said, to being inspired to find new ways in your life to get around some of that, what you want and what you dream of, which you may not be able to have right now, um, which you might be fixating on very deeply. It's important to ground yourself back down Ground yourself back down through your friends, through your family. Ground yourself down to the base of what, what is it what you truly wanted. Um, sometimes we can get lost in thinking we need that house, that job, that thing to make ourselves happy. But really, it's just grounding back down to yourself, to the core of everything, to what you truly need and want and um, accept into your life. You also have the number 13 here, so that might resonate for some of you having to do with maybe your finances or what you're envious of or what you're grounding back down to. Um, some people think of 13 as being a very unlucky number, but it all depends also on perspective. So there you are with number 13. You also have here in your central ring showcased people or people in your life. So this showcases having people showing up. And especially since you had the Knight of Cups, this also can mean that someone else is coming in and offering um, love up to you as well. So it can go both ways here. But you have here a the cups showing up again. So you have the Ace of Cups. So this is a charm all, or a card also all about fleeting emotion, but it's very deep. It's very powerful. So this can be a new relationship with someone. This can be a new relationship with yourself or even a new emotion that you're not used to having or an emotion that you haven't processed before coming in, especially since I'm really seeing here a new person might be coming into your life or that new emotion that you need to be prepared for because you have here the preparation charm because if any of you live in a cold climate where there are icicles around on your roof or on the side of a building or something, it's very important, especially when they start to melt that that can be a very dramatic and very 
um, dangerous situation as it begins to melt because as beautiful as an icicle is on the outside, so there might be someone coming in and being very charming and nice and lovely, it's important to be prepared for who they truly are, the deeper sides of them, the more grounded sides of them, um, and really get to know them first before really jumping fully into a relationship or jumping into these family gatherings as well with other people. So again, protecting your energy, protecting yourself, um, because there might be passion, there might be love there, there might be excitement there, or a lot of love to want to go see these different people. But you really do need to be prepared. You really need to protect yourself. That's being showcased very heavily in several different charms and cards here. You also have, again, journey being showcased. So I do think you're traveling, especially with the RV, which I saw earlier. Um, you might even be traveling in a, like, traveling somewhere to another place. So you might have to, like, travel through the air. So if you're going on an airplane or you're not driving with your immediate bubble kind of group of people in your life right now, it's important to travel travel as safely as you can. So be as protected as you can in that way. Um, but you do have the temporary energy. So this is showcasing to me that you're not going to have to deal with this for too long. It's a very temporary trip. So it's not like you're moving. Um, but it's more like it's just a temporary trip somewhere, especially with that four of wands. So it's for the holidays or for an event. You also have cycles, which you had earlier, which I didn't talk too much on here yet. But you had cycles show up here. Out of chaos comes creation. So you have something that's been a cycle in your life for a while now, something that you've been a habit that you've had, an addiction that you've had, or something having to do with even a relationship with someone. And it's time to break those cycles, break those um, bad habits or those things that are just not, they're sticky, icky, not good for you, you know? So it's time to break those cycles that you've had going on and that's going to be a huge blessing because it's going to give you a new perspective and it's also going to give you a naive feeling of life. It's going to make you have this young Simba energy. So you're going to feel like you can just do anything, right? Like, And that's why it's important to be prepared, but it's also important to root yourself down as well to the roots of your being because when we are young and when we are feeling naive that's when we can you know catch ourselves off guard from a situation so there's a lot of protect protective energy coming in for you guys today and I know I've spoken on it so many times so some of the other energies that I'm seeing outside of travel outside of that sort of energy that I've already spoken on is there is a showcase of a new opportunity because you have the key which showcases new opportunities being opened, opening a key to a new opportunity. So that new opportunity might come out of breaking a cycle um, or breaking away from someone or something that no longer served you and maybe even traveling away from it. Um, something that made you feel insecure, something that made you feel less um, of yourself because you have the insecurity charm coming up here. Something that made you feel like you were less than because you also have the fault in your stars charm coming up here which showcases feeling like you have all these faults, all these bad things about yourself that we sometimes just have this mindset and thought in our minds of, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, but it all comes down to mindset. It all comes down to the information that you filter into yourself, the way that you have these inner dialogues with yourself and in the mirror to yourself. It's important to realize that you... Every human is faulted. We all have faults. We all have difficulties. We all have things that can bring us down. And those are also the things that can bring us together as well. So be sure to lend to your family and friends this week, or sorry, this month, to be sure that you are looking out and asking how they are doing and asking how you're doing because, again, out of that chaos comes creation. Out of those cycles of maybe not talking to someone, isolating yourself, feeling all of these feelings, not being able to be with the people that you love, having that distance there, that creates so much of the stability in your life being taken away from being grounded back down from having some of that jealousy come back in, from having so many emotions be heightened. So a lot of this does connect and a lot of those things that seem like they're not connecting like friends and family, your finances, all of that, a lot of it has a baseline connection of just grounding back down, simplifying things. That's definitely a word I'm feeling here is simplifying things and protecting yourself from the energy that you've maybe been letting in as you've had your guard sort of um, 
down while you're trying to seek out comfort. So with all of that said, I'm going to quickly do a recap here for you, although I feel like I kind of just did. Definitely protect yourself this month. Um, that's not necessarily a blessing always, but it is because you're being showcased this energy. So it is something that you can do beforehand. You can be prepared for these social gatherings, for all of the different holidays that are coming in, for the finances that might be coming in. Be sure to look towards family and friends this month. Maybe you're going to have to do it in a different way to protect yourself, but definitely don't blind yourself to new loves or new things that aren't going to help you, that are cycles that you're maybe trying to fall into, and instead find the comfort in the people that are going to be truly there for you. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please let me know by letting um, me see any comment down below about how you felt about these different charms or these different letters. I'd love to know. Also, be sure to give this video a like if you did like the video. It really does help me know that you enjoyed it. And lastly, if you are new to the channel, I do these weekly and monthly readings all the time for you every single Monday. Um, less so on the monthly, more on the weekly. But if you're interested, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you guys in this community and I will see you in the next one. Bye.